Hi! In this video, we will learn how to split and merge rooms. Let's take a project of mine and let's imagine that we would like to split the hallway. We select the room, we tap on the wall where we would like to split the room and from the left side menu we select split room. As simple as that. And you can see that we have two separate rooms. We can also rename the uh, room that we split it. For example, here we could call it hallway one and save it. So you will see that you have two different names. If you're happy with the result, it's fine. Otherwise, you can always move these walls around, right? So you can pull in this wall and then you can also pull out the other wall so that it is split exactly where you would like to have the new wall, basically. Now, let's imagine instead that we don't want to have this closet, but we prefer to have a bigger primary bedroom. How does it work? We tap on the room for two seconds until it turns blue and from the left side menu we select Merge Rooms. We will merge it with the closet. Voila! And as you can see, we have a bigger primary bedroom. You could also rename it if you prefer and you want to call it bedroom and closet, for example. Voila! We save it and we have it with the personalized name. If you do this procedure and you merge two rooms, this will be also calculated as a single room in your statistics, of course. So you will not see different statistics for the closet that you had before and the bedroom is one new room. But if you would like to keep the measurements separate, but you would like to display it as one room, you could also do another thing. We select here the closet from the other room. We select the wall that we do not want to have and we simply delete the wall. So you will see here from the left side menu, we tap on delete and then you will see that you still have your two rooms, but they are visually like one room. If we want, we can also delete this other wall if we don't like it. And voila, there's a difference, right? So I gave some colors to the room so you can also see the difference a bit better. The first one is one color because it's all together. And the second one kept the two different colors because you still keep the different measurements in your statistics in square meters or square feet. If you would like to learn some more editing tips in order to get a professional flow plan, you simply have to tap on the video link down here so you can learn something in addition. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.